all right so we spoke uh, lately on the aspect of um abraham and how himself he god spoke to him and i believe earlier on i explained to us that when god communicates to us there has to be a familiarity in the communications of god and the dealings of god the reason why there has to be familiarity is so that there can be clarity so in explaining I, I brought us to an awareness of the reasons why God communicate uh, to humanity. It is because God, in from the beginning, all that he wanted was to have a relationship. God, all that he wanted was to have a relationship. God wanted a relationship with man and um men also were supposed to build up that relationship that they had with god now you then begin to understand like i explained earlier on that when we talk about dreams all right when we talk about dreams now when we talk about dreams we have to come to a place where we understand the reason why God communicates through dreams. All right. So when God communicates to us through dreams, there are a lot of things that he desires or that is looking for, uh, from us so that we can get to reach to that understanding of uh, this very same aspect of dreams. All right. So in dreams, we say, number one, the reason why God communicates so that we can have instruction all right so that we can have instruction number two we say so that we can have direction all right so that we can have instruction so that we can have direction those um those are the reasons why god consistently uh, comes to a place where he communicates to us so that there can be instruction so that there can be direction um, and also so that you can through instruction and direction you can understand the aspect of um, purpose all right so you can understand the purposes of God and what God wants you to do as far as this, uh, the aspect of your destiny is concerned. Many people, they really ignore dreams. And what people do not understand, uh, God has specifically um, ordained dreams to be dreams because that is the first um communication that god brings up as i'm going to open you to something so if we want to see an aspect where god brought instruction and communication we can try to check um on 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 on, on the book of genesis chapter 20 from verse 3 all right genesis chapter 20 from verse 3 if you if you read your bible in uh, genesis genesis chapter 20 from verse 3 if you read in Genesis chapter 20 verse 3, the bible says but god came to abimelech in a dream and said behold thou art a dead man for the woman that you have taken is is a man's wife or is a prophet's wife we remember this is when abimelech had taken abraham's wife sarai to be a wife and god came and the reason when god came to speak to Abimelech on this, God was bringing a, a what? A warning. This was a warning. All right. This was specifically a warning that God was bringing to Abimelech to say, "You have taken the wife of a prophet, and therefore." You, you 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 are surely a dead man so god brings instruction he brings direction and he brings to us warnings through dreams and many people would ask a question why is it that god communicates to men through dreams because i believe that is one of the biggest questions that many people ask all around why does god really communicate to men through dreams 
And I remember explaining something to us that the reason why I focus on dreams is because of the revelation that God gave me. And I've seen it to be true. All right? I've seen it to be true. Why? Because you have to get and understand the revelation that dreams are a window. All right? Dreams are a window. Dreams are a window into the what? In the spiritual. All right? Dreams are a window into the spiritual. All right? Dreams are a window into the spiritual. Whenever you see the aspect of dreams, you understand that it will come. To, we, we are talking about a window to the realm of the spiritual. So when you see people talk about the spiritual, one of the shortcuts for you to understanding uh, most of spiritual activities it is through dreams. Why? Because when you are awake. Most of the times you are busy. You some will be do, doing work, some will be watching television, and all those aspects. And even for you to see an open vision while you are awake, in most of the times it becomes impossible. How does it become impossible? It becomes impossible because you are too busy. You are too busy. So the aspect of the aspect of God communicating to you sometimes it becomes impossible. Why? Because in that environment you will be too busy. You wanna work out this. You wanna make sure that this uh, comes to pass. You wanna make sure that uh, certain things are really working out. So dreams are windows to the spiritual. All right. If we go to the book of our numbers. Let's go to the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter number 12. Numbers chapter number 12 from verse number 6. Numbers 12 from verse number 6. Makula gabala gada gabada. All right. So we are going to see how God separates this aspect of visions and dreams. All right. So in Numbers 12 verse 6. Numbers chapter 12 verse number six all right so in numbers chapter 12 verse six in numbers 12 verse six the bible the bible says however the words how he said hear my words if there is a prophet among you all right all right so we wanna we, we want to break down that communication that god spoke right there all right hear my words All right, so God said to them, hear my words. All right, hear my words. So we underline the word words because that very same words, um, the Bible says, if there is a prophet among you, so it means these words, God is talking about a prophecy. All right. These what are being said words, God is actually talking about a what? A prophecy. God is talking about a prophecy. God is talking about a prophecy. So he says, hear my words, if there is a prophet among you, the Lord will make himself known in a vision. Right? Make himself known in a vision. himself known all right he makes himself known all right and how does he make himself known the bible says he makes himself known in a what he makes himself known in a vision He makes himself known in a vision. All right? So he makes himself known in a vision. And the Bible says that in a vision he speaks to men uh, in a vision. He's, and will speak unto him in a vision. All right? 
and he will what? He speaks in a dream. So in as much as he makes himself known in a vision, the Bible is telling us that he proceeded further that if he is to communicate, he makes sure that he speaks to humanity in a dream. So he speaks in a dream, he makes himself known in a vision, meaning he reveals himself. So the, 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 the issue of visions and dreams, now you understand how God communicates when it comes to visions and dreams. When it is visions, what he's doing is, if it visions, he's revealing himself. Many visions that men see, God is revealing himself. Revelations, so... If he reveals himself in a vision, so this is where, let me just put an arrow, we are talking about revelations. All right, we are talking about revelations. So many revelations we can talk about when it comes to God, they are attributed from the aspect of visions. So it is in dreams that God brings a message like what the Bible says that he speaks in a dream. So understanding the concept that God speaks in a dream, I believe, brings you, gives you an advantage as a believer. Why? Because if God speaks to you in a dream, then you have an advantage of making those communications with with God and also making communications with the spiritual. So if God speaks in a dream, it is very, it will be, I believe it will be uncalled for, for any person who really is serious about their spiritual life to come to a place where they ignore the aspect of dreams. So dreams are not to be ignored. Dreams are not to be ignored because the Bible is officially tells, told us that uh, God the Bible has officially told us that God, all right, all right, the Bible has told us that God reveals himself. In visions. All right, that is number one. And number two, he speaks. in dreams so god reveals himself in a vision and he speaks in dreams that is what is important all right that is what is important that is what is important that god reveals himself in a vision and he speaks in dreams all right he speaks in dreams he speaks in dreams that is what is important that is what is important he speaks in dreams so the reason why you must not ignore your dreams is is because you might end up missing the voice of god now you've gotten it you might end up if he speaks in dreams this is where we are talking about the voice of god if he speaks in dreams, we are talking about the voice of God. So God speaks to us through dreams. You must never come to a place where you ignore dreams. You must never come to a place where you ignore the communications of dreams. Otherwise, you will see yourself not having, um, not having experience of the Spirit. So this shows you, this shows you that dreams are a window into the room of the spirit dreams are a window into the is a window into the room of the spirit activities are revealed in dreams god speaks in dreams that even god says if there is a prophet among you i speak to him through what through visions and dreams imagine god coming to a place where he um where he where where he he, he, he admits that if I'm to talk even to a prophet, most of the prophecies that I know that are most accurate are from dreams. 
Why? Because by that time, even your spiritual receptacle is open. There is no interaction, except there is that soulish, uh, soulish thing that might be disturbing you. But this is where God speaks in clarity the more. This is where God speaks in clarity the more. Remember what the Bible says in Job chapter number 33, if we can go there. All right, we can uh, make a repeat um, in Job 33, I believe. Job 33, praise God. Job 33. Job 33. My goodness. All right, in Job 33, verse number 15. All right, this I believe will show us that aspect. Job 33, verse 15. We spoke about this scripture last week, where the Bible says, In a dream, in a vision of the night, in a dream, in the vision of the night, when men, when deep sleep falleth unto men in slumbering of the bed. So it's, it is not just sleep. You have to understand it is not just sleep. All right. So I want you to say, God say in a dream. All right. In a dream. Then it is specified what kind of a dream. It is called the vision of the night it is called the vision of the night and it is called the vision of the night all right what's happening here it is called the vision of the night in the vision of the night the bible says when deep sleep falleth unto men deep sleep All right, deep sleep. Something that you have to understand. It's not about just sleeping, but deep sleep. Deep sleep. It means in this aspect, you have been you, 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 the fleshly nature is gone. The body is tired and resting. And most of the times I believe you dream more dreams when really you sleep uh, tired. When deep sleep falleth unto men, um, while is their slumberings on the bed 16 says and they open it their ear so you need to understand that um while this deep sleep is falling unto men you need to get the point that the bible says the bible tells us that uh you what he opens their ear so number one opens their ear It is important to understand that point that it is God who opens the ears. It is God who opens opens their ears. All right? He opens their ears and the Bible says that he sealed an instruction. Seals a word. So he does not just open our ears, he seals the word. And it is now unto us to be able to interpret or to be able to bring out that word that God would have sealed. All right? So it is a deep sleep. All right? It is, we're talking about deep sleep. And while you are in deep sleep, God opens your ears from the inside. All right? He is the one who opens. So when God opens, he what? He seals in your spirit. And I explained that this is the reason why most of the times when you wake up, you feel like something has been spoken to you. There is a word that has been spoken to you. This is the reason all these two are the reason why we need interpretations. Like what we are going to do. Let us go to the book of Genesis 37. This is the reason why we will need interpretations. This is the reason we will need interpretations. Genesis 
chapter number 32. All right. Genesis chapter number 32. 37. Let us look at a dream that was dreamt by one of the best dreamers in the Bible. All right. Let us look at the dream that was dreamt by one of the dreamers in the Bible. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Genesis 37. Genesis 37. Genesis 37. All right, Genesis chapter number 37, um, verse number, we'll start from verse number 7. Okay, let's read from verse number 6, uh, going down to verse number 9, to verse number 9. All right, Genesis 37, verse number, to verse number 9. All right. The Bible says that, and he, and he said to them, I pray you this dream which I have dreamt. All right? This dream that I have dreamt. Which, which dream? The dream that made him to, that made them to hate him. What was the dream? All right? I dreamt we were binding sheaves in a field. I wanted to look at it. All right? We can call it the first dream. All right. We call it the first dream. We call it the first dream. All right. What does he tell us? All right. He says, we were binding sheaves in a field. Binding what? Sheaves. in a field they were binding sheaves all right they were binding sheaves in a field they were binding she sheaves in a field all right and the bible says lo my shield rose My sheave arose. Right? It arose and behold, there are sheaves. So when his sheave arose, their own stood about and bowed. Alright? Theirs bowed. Now I want you to look at this dream. Many people uh, many people uh, would see the interpretation when you 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 you, you read on um, when when you read on Genesis when you read on um, on, on, on 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 the very same Genesis uh, chapter on that thirty seven verse number um, eight the brothers. Uh, took the dream to the next level and they interpreted to him and he said um, and his brethren said to him shall thou indeed reign over us and shall thou indeed have dominion over us as they hated him yet the more his dreams and his words so he, they had his, his, his dream coming to a place that his own sheep rose and theirs bowed it means they would have dominion over them but they do not know that Joseph was having a glimpse into the future Joseph was having a glimpse into the future remember in as much as they sold Joseph, in as much as they sold Joseph, when we go forward into the future, we will see that the very same, all right, so we say future, 
all right let's just say future all right when we go into the future what surprises us we we'll see that joseph governs agriculture Is somebody see is, is somebody seeing how, how how God does things? They themselves they were seeing a sheaf, and yes, they were hating Joseph. But they did not know that God was already showing Joseph a glimpse of his future, a glimpse of what he, he is to become and where he is to go. So he might not have understood that in as much as he's seeing these sheaves that he's seeing. All right, whereby they are binding sheaves in a field. He might not understand that the aspect of them binding sheaves in a field. God is trying to bring him to a place where he understands his purpose. All right, so in as much as he's binding sheaves, all right, in a what? In a field. All of this is leading to his future where he's going to govern, all right, the economy of Egypt through agriculture. And most people have had such dreams where God is trying to highlight to you about the future. God is trying to tell you about your future, what is to happen in your future, uh, how you are going to really have the future and all. And some of these dreams, we have, we have ignored them because we are not sensitive that dreams are a window into the realm of the spirit. That is why the devil attacks dreams the more. That is why the devil is so much consistent in, the, in attacking people's dreams. Why? Because these are the specifics. Joseph just dreams a dream. He's a young man. And he just tells his brothers, I dreamt we were in the field, we were putting sheaves. But they did not know that what God was telling Joseph in a dream was not about his brothers. No. The whole of Israel bowed down before Joseph. Remember, when they went to Egypt, with the brothers and Joseph told them, I am your brother. The reason they went there was because there was a drought. There was a drought. And Joseph did not say that he has gathered many sheaves when he was speaking to them. I believe all, all the sheaves they were gathering were the same. The sheaves are like those bunches of wheat and all. But his own stood. There was a grace that God was opening up Joseph to. And Joseph was coming to an, an old nation in the dream. So many people, you, you, you will see that in your dreams, uh, some of you, as you were in, in, encountering and going about your dreams, some of you, you dreamt already if you are in ministry, you, you just dreamt seeing yourself praying for people, yet you don't have a, maybe you didn't, uh, you might not have a church yet. You see yourself uh, praying for people, you are praying for people and you are wondering in the dream, uh, you are coming at us, what is happening? What is happening? Huh? Did, uh, Apostle, I'm dreaming, praying for people. So many people have come asking these dreams. I'm dreaming, praying for people. What is happening? What does that mean? God is trying to show this person the future. All right? God is trying to show this person that, no, I have actually called you. I have actually what? Called you. And for the fact that I have actually called you, I want you to come to a place where you can embrace this gifting so that um, you can start preparing for what you are to do in the future. But what do many people do? Many people, they ignore. All right? Many people, they ignore. They ignore because many people will just be told these are just dreams or you are being... Um, if you are if you are from some traditional churches that they, they will tell you you are being overzealous all right you are being overzealous so there is an aspect of dreams where even god can come to a place where he communicates to you what is to happen tomorrow like what he did on the scripture of abimelech that god told abimelech that abimelech you are a dead man because the wife you have uh the wife you have taken is a wife of a prophet all right, is a wife of a prophet. So, through dreams, all right, through dreams, through 
true dreams God reveals the future. All right, through dreams, through dreams, through dreams, God reveals the future. Through dreams, God reveals. Through dreams, God reveals the future. God will reveal your future through dreams. All right, He will communicate to you of what is to happen in your future. It's not something that you have to ignore. Like what I said, interpretation, yes, it will be needed. But what I love is you have to get this point, all right? Not, I want you to note this. Um, this is a very important point. Dreams are not lost. Dreams are never lost. Dreams are not lost. Joseph dreams a dream. They sell him to Egypt. And what to surprise you when Joseph is in Egypt, the Bible tells us that when he was in the house of Potiphar, the house of Potiphar increased. Everything in the house of Potiphar increased because of him. When he was in the house of, when he, he, was, when he came to Pharaoh, the nation prospered because of him. So it wasn't just about the dream. It was a grace that was on him. Every place where he would go, that dream would be activated. And I loved it. When we read in Job chapter 33, what I loved and a second point to note is that God seals dreams. It's a very important point to note. God seals dreams. I love it. Seals dreams. To seal it means it's closed. In, 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 in the olden culture, if you have maybe read about the terms of the Roman government and all, uh, they would write a letter and seal a letter to say it's a letter going to the king. And that seal would only be opened by the person. Who, uh, who, who, who who is the owner of uh, the, the 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 later? All right. So it shows you that dreams are what confidential. So it's not everyone who should come to a place where they understand and they know what is it that you have dreamt and what God is saying in, in that dream. Why? Because if dreams can be sealed, the devil wants to know what have you dreamt. Because that is where God reveals dreams the more. He wants to know what have you dreamt. Because that is where God reveals dreams the more. So if dreams are sealed, if dreams are sealed, it means you have to come to a place where uh, now we, we are talking about if this if God if God seals dreams. All right, it brings us to an aspect of need of interpretation. It brings us to the need of those dreams being interpreted. And when Pharaoh was asking for a dream, I loved it. Joseph answered Pharaoh and said, uh, God, uh, Joseph answered and said, it is what the spirit that gives. Interpretation. It is the spirit that gives interpretation. It is the spirit that gives interpretation. Meaning the Holy Spirit, uh, the Holy Spirit now gives you an ability so that there can be interpretation. The relationship with the Holy Spirit is now needed. Your relationship. And everything that is to do with, uh, with, with, with the Holy Spirit, we, we are talking about everything that is to do with the Holy Spirit, there is you grow by practice. All right? 
everything that is to do with the Holy Spirit, all right, you grow. by practice. You grow by practice. Let's look at the at, 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 at the at the last dream that Joseph uh, had that was revealing his future. So just underline the word grow there. Um, verse number nine and he dreamt yet another dream and he said I dreamt the more <laughs> when, when you just become a dreamer, the, 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 the issue of dreams will just not stop. When you become a dreamer, the, the issue of dreams, it will, it will just not um, it will just not stop. All right? It will just not stop on itself. All right, it will just not stop. So we see, we see, we see, we see him saying that. And I dreamt another dream, and behold, the sun and the moon and eleven stars made obeisance to me. And what surprises was he was not interpreting his dreams, but they were interpreting his dreams themselves. All right. The boy was not even interpreting his dreams, but they themselves were the ones that were interpreting Joseph's dreams. So we, we spoke about this aspect of, um, of, of, of the lineage of Abraham, all right? So that is in Genesis. I would want you to look at it when you're on your own. 37. Genesis 37, verse number 9. Right? Genesis 37, verse number 9. Genesis 37, verse 9. He says, I dreamt a dream, and in this dream, what did I see? I saw, um, I saw the sun. All right? He saw, number one, the sun, and he saw the moon. He saw the sun and the moon and 11 stars. And 11 stars. All right? 11 stars. And the Bible says they came down to bow. All these, they came, they bowed. All right, they bowed um, to him. All right, he saw the moon, the sun, the star, and they bowed to him. And we explained that uh, the reason why you would see that there is there is a connection to all these three things, it is because of where this young man is coming from it is because of the lineage that this young man is coming from so one is to understand that um the heir of the chaldeans all right one is to understand that the heir of the chaldeans were Abraham was coming from where what were astrologers the heir of the Chaldeans were astrologers all right so in as much as there is um okay let's remove that all right they were astrologers so it is easy for Joseph to dream this because when when we talk about the moon and the sun, all right, when we talk about the moon and the sun, the sun is the head and the moon reflects because of what? Of the sun. So what begins to happen is these two, all right, the moon and the sun, they were gods. In those days, 
all right they were gods or they were heads all right and because these were, were like that the stars now when you would check uh, even on abraham's dream these were people these were people that is why god said to abraham that abraham you have to understand that i'm going to make your nation great and in making your nation great uh your people your children shall be as many as the stars he got there to equate stars to the people god there to equate stars to the people he had to equate stars to the people so the first dream is talking about his future but also because they were farmers it connects to the aspect of what they were doing so there are dreams that will come in when god is revealing through dreams he reveals through common practices of what you do common practices of what you do if a person is if a person is a believer when you you are fighting in the spirit in in the dream you see demons if a person is doing traditional things they, they will see certain things if a person is a hunter you will see a lion because there has to be familiarity in the communication so here god is trying to tell him of what is to happen to him and um and the bible says that all the the, the uh, when he dreamt that in nine the bible says he dreamt the moon and the stars and the and all of them they came to bow to him it shows you in this dream all right all right when joseph dreamt this dream the most surprising thing that you see is that he was not in this dream he was not a star all right in this particular dream he was not even a star that is what will surprise you he did not say they came and bowed to me as a star as him so in this particular dream he was not a star these are dreams that you see yourself in the dream so he was actually standing and he saw the moon the stars coming to bow before him and it was an interpretation of how 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 everything will come to a place that they will be under his authority how everything will be under his god it is his father who interpreted and said so you are saying that uh, me and your brothers uh, sh shall bow before you are you hearing what i'm saying it was the father who interpreted that it was the father who interpreted that so in the in in the case of these guys that are called astrologers we have heard about them a lot in some scriptures in the bible they are even still called chaldeans in some particular scriptures they they are even they are still calling them chaldeans why because of the origin where they are coming from from abraham and these people they are specialty if you check in most cases in the bible what to surprise you is these men were always around kings all right they were always around kings and they were the ones that were to interpret dreams all right they were interpreters these guys were always interpreters so i want you to look closely when it comes to the aspect of dreams and look at it how are dreams important why did god consistently communicate to people through dreams why was it important for god to come to a place where he reveals himself through dreams there, there you got it there you have it dreams are important so it is also an important issue for you to come to a place where you can receive and grasp dreams and understand this topic of dreams that um and get clarity of your life and where it is going so let us see the next uh lesson as we will be going to be explaining one of the most important dreams of um, where Joseph starts to interpret and from there I believe we'll be opening up interpretations of dreams all right